Hello everybody, welcome to your channel Eco Engineering. This is your host Chia Leilipur. In this video, I'm going to briefly explain what is Sharp Ratio and show it how it can influence your portfolio and how it is connected to the volatility. The video has two sections. Uh, in the first section, mathematically and based on probability, I'll show you how Sharp Ratio can be calculated. And in the second section, we use Python programming language to uh, first uh, extract and download the data for different stacks, and then we calculate the Sharp Ratio for, for them. If this is your first time watching our channel, I would really appreciate if you click on subscribe and hit the bell button. So whenever we upload new video, you would receive a notification. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay with me to the end. Okay, we try to explain it with two different data. Each group of data can be, for example, the price for a specific share. And in the first day, for example, the price of this stock is four. In the second day, it is seven. In the third day, it is six. And in the fourth day, it is three. What is the average for these four prices? The average would be five. So we have the second group. In the second group, the first day price is two, the second day price is nine, the third day price is eight, and the fourth day price is one. Again, here, the average for these prices are five. What is the difference between the first group and the second group? As you can see, in the second group, the prices deviate from average more than the first group. Here in the second group, uh, the difference between the, the lowest price and the highest price is about is eight. But for the first group, the difference between the high, lowest price and highest price is four. It means that the second groups are more volatile and it is less reliable. Even if it's your strategy and your strategy fluctuates like that, it means that your strategy, even if in some intervals, for example, from here to here, it gains more money, it be more profitable, but it is less reliable. So based on, this is how the average is calculated, the sum of all prices divided by their number, which we have four of them here, then it would be four. But from these concepts of deviation from average, we reach to standard Deviation. What is standard deviation? So the deviation from average for first price is three. The deviation from average for second price is four. And the deviation from average for third price is three. And for last one is four. And standard deviation is calculated like that. The deviation of first price from average powered by two plus the deviation of second price from average powered by two, plus the deviation from the third price from average powered by three, and plus the deviation from the deviation of fourth price from average powered by two again, divided by their number, which is which we have four of them, so we divide them by four and square root of them. We can find out that when the deviation from average of prices are more, the standard deviation will increase. This is the formula for standard deviation. It is equal to square root of sum of the deviation of all prices or data from the average or mean powered by two divided by their number. And this is how we calculated it in the previous slide. From standard deviation, we reach to sharp ratio. Sharp ratio is very simple, actually. Sharp ratio is equal to average or mean of prices, or for example, daily, the means of daily returns of a strategy, divided by standard deviation. We can calculate sharp ratio for any data. This is the general defined of sharp ratio, but in some uh, books and articles for calculating Sharpe ratio, for example, they use uh, the return divided by 
volatility, uh, which is more complex. But here it, we just stick to the general concept of sharp ratio. This is sharp ratio for only one day. If we want to calculate sharp ratio for weekly or annually, we should multiply it by square root of, for example, five, because uh, five is uh, the number of working day in one week, and 252 is the number of working day in one year. This is how annual and weekly sharp ratio is calculated. In the next section, we use Python programming language to first grab and download the data of Amazon and Apple, and then calculating the standard deviation and average and sharp ratio for them and plot them. Uh, please stay with me. OK, in this section, we use Python programming language to first extract the data for two different stocks, which are Amazon and Apple, and then calculating the standard deviation, sharp ratio, and average of their daily changes. For doing so, we first import the important uh, libraries that we use them. So we say import NumPy as NP, import pandas as pd then uh, for uh, plot uh, we import uh, matplotlib import matplotlib.py plot as plt then uh, we use quandl to download the data and we say import Quandle. Then we define the start and end date for which interval we want to download the data for these stocks. So we say start is equal to PD coming from pandas to date time. And uh, here we say, for example, from 2010, 0, 01. The end date end is equal to PD from pandas dot to date time. And we want to grab, for example, data for, to 2017. And now that we defined start and end date, we use Quandle to download the data. We say Amazon. Amazon is equal to quandle.get and here we exactly write down like that we key slash now the symbol of uh, amazon which is amzn amzn dot 11 and then we can just delete this one and we say start date is equal to this start that we have here. Please notice that it should be written exactly the same as I am writing it here. Then we say end date is equal to this end that we defined here. And this is for Amazon. This is for getting data for Amazon. And I paste it and I say Apple. Just here we change, we import, input, we apply the Apple symbol, symbol, which is A, A, P, L. Here it is. I run it. And after a while, I can see the data. This is the data frame for Amazon. And this is the data frame for Apple. It has uh, one uh, column. All, both of them have one column and 1,762 uh, rows here like that. So, uh, and the column is adjusted close. This is the close of the day. Now that we have the close, we want to add for each of them. We want to add another column, which shows the changes of the day in percent. So how we do that? We say Amazon. We define another row like that. The name of the row is uh, daily changes. And uh, it is equal to 
So we take this Amazon Amazon here and we want to see the changes of the adjusted close, the column that we have here. If you look at it, we have this column. We want to have another column which shows us the changes of this column. So how we do it, we say from adjusted close. You should write it down exactly the same. Dot P C T change. So we can put it one, but if we don't put anything here, it's the same with one, but I put it one and then I'll sh show you what does this number here represent for. And I copy and paste it again. This time for Apple. Apple. And again, we run it. And hopefully we don't have any error. We don't have any error. See, then now it's it, it's not one column. It's two column. If I open it, I see the daily changes. What does these daily changes mean? Here it says that 0.5%. Uh, it means the price for the 5th of January has changed by 0.5% in comparison with the uh, 4th of January. The 4th of January is none because we don't have data for the previous day, uh, but it's very simple. Here, for example, it says in 7th of January, uh, the price decreased by 1.7% in comparison with 6th of January. It's just like that. If here, instead of 1, we put 2, it compare it with the 2 days ago. If here it was 2 and this number, this person here, means... Uh, in comparison with two days ago, it drops by 1.7%. So it's just like that. Now we have daily changes. And now we want to, for these daily changes, calculate the mean and standard deviation. Just very simple. We say, for example, Amazon mean is equal this row, this column, dot just simply mean. And we can do it for Apple 2. Apple mean is equal. Apple, we just can copy and paste it here. Dot mean. This is the mean. And we calculate standard deviation 2. For standard deviation, we say Amazon. STD is equal Amazon here that STD like that for Apple it would be just Apple STD is equal to Apple so we have standard deviation and we have the mean. Now we calculate for Amazon, we calculate uh, Sharpe ratio. Sharp ratio is equal. So we have two parentheses. I tell you what is this two parentheses for. Uh, multiply by, so you say Amazon mean divided by Amazon standard deviation. And for annually sharp ratio, we multiply it by square root of 252. It means 252 power by 0 0.5. Instead of this, we can just, for example, write down, use NumPy and say NP SQRT uh, 252, but it's easier. 252 power by 0 0.5 means square root of 252. 52 and if I run it so if I run it and now we can just in the console write down sharp ratio Amazon sharp ratio it's this is the value of uh, Amazon sharp ratio but I can add and I want to add sharp ratio for Apple 2 Apple Sharp ratio 
is equal to 252 power by 0 0.5 multiply by Apple mean divided by Apple standard ratio, standard deviation. So I compile it again. We have Amazon sharp ratio and Apple sharp ratio. We have both of them here. As, as you can see, Amazon sharp ratio is higher than Apple sharp ratio. It means that Amazon is less volatile and it is more reliable. We can see it easily just by plotting Amazon. For example, here, the Amazon, we can plot just Amazon, uh, Amazon adjusted close and see what's the difference between them. If we just uh, that plot like that, just very simple, and we run it in the plot, we can see this is the Amazon. It starts from around 100 and it increased to even more than 800. Uh, and if I just change Amazon, for example, here to Apple, if I, for example, copy Apple here and paste it here and I run it, then we would have another, yeah, we have, a, this is this is Amazon and this is Apple. As you can see, Apple is fluctuating more and it is more volatile. And we can say that it is less uh, reliable. It, when the sharp ratio is high, it doesn't tell us that it is profitable. It just tells us uh, some data about uh, the volatility of this stock or even strategy instead of, here we've, for example, have a very simple strategy. We just keep one uh, one uh, share, but it can be a combination of several stocks. And uh, then the daily pers the daily changes of this strategy, we can calculate sharp ratio for that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please do not forget to hit the like button. So uh, YouTube algorithm will introduce us to those who are interested in this subject. I hope you like it. Uh, have a good day.